If you read any self-help or personal development books, you will very quickly come across the concept of positive thinking. No matter what book you read, there will be some idea about thinking positively, looking on the bright side of life, believing in yourself, seeing opportunities instead of obstacles, etc, etc. And for me, having read those type of books for almost 30 years of my life, the idea of being a positive person and positive thinking is really a part of my identity today. But as I've been reading more psychology books lately, I've started to realize that there is this concept of self-deception. This idea that we can deceive ourselves in some ways that can actually sometimes be a hindrance or set us up for failure. And one of them in particular is a concept called positive illusions. And this is something I wanted to talk about in the video. What are positive illusions? Are they something that can help us? Can they hold us back in some ways? And are they worth being aware of in our everyday life? If you're new to this channel, hello, my name is Daniel. I am not a psychologist or a therapist. I'm just a person who loves personal development, self-improvement. Just like you, I'm trying to improve myself and get along in the world in my own way. So let's kick off by talking about a definition of positive illusions. And for this, I need my glasses because I gotta read you something specific. Positive illusions are a perception that represents what is perceived in a way different from the way it is in reality. An illusion is a false mental image or conception which may be a misrepresentation of a real appearance or maybe something imagined. It may be pleasing, harmless, or even useful. Now, if that sounds kind of highfalutin, trust me, it is, but the idea is pretty simple. You are imagining things a certain way that may not match reality. Now, this is kind of a cornerstone of positive thinking, of believing in yourself, of visualizing the future. You're actually imagining something that doesn't exist and you're having a positive leaning. You're hoping or you're believing that things are gonna get better or that they are better than they actually are. So this term positive illusions is from a paper that was written by Shelley and Brown back in 1988 entitled Illusion and Wellbeing, a Psychological Perspective on Mental Health. If that sounds a little bit intimidating, trust me, it is a <laughs> difficult read, but I will try and summarize it for you. Essentially what they are saying is that human beings tend to have a better sense of well-being because of the fact they make up positive illusions about themselves. They see themselves in a more favorable way than is actually the reality that they're living in. You do this, I do this, we all do it in our own ways. It's just a matter of whether we're aware of it and whether we're using it for good or we're actually damaging ourselves in some way. Now there are actually three positive illusions that Shelley and Brown talk about in their paper. The first one is an inflated assessment of our own abilities. Now, I don't know about you, but I have fallen into this trap myself where I see myself as better at something than I actually am. I found this in the public speaking world as I grew in confidence as a speaker, I started to think I was one of the world's greatest speakers. And it wasn't until I met speakers who were much better than me, particularly when I started going into speaking contests through Toastmasters, that I realized, oh, maybe I'm not as good as I thought I was. That is a positive illusion. That's an inflated assessment of my own abilities. You may have those things in your life too. In some area of your life, you may see yourself as better than you actually are. Now that gives you confidence, it gives you self-belief, and it gives you the courage to actually push yourself out there. So it's not necessarily always a bad thing, but it's something to keep in mind that maybe you are inflating your own sense of achievement or ability or whatever in your life that other people would see quite differently. Second positive illusion is unrealistic optimism. Now this one is particularly prevalent when we start something. We think that we're gonna be a millionaire when we start start a business, we start a new relationship, we think it's the love of our life, whatever it is, we have an unrealistic optimism about a situation. For those of us who do read a lot of self-help and personal development, this may be even worse because we see things with rose-colored glasses. We think that we're gonna set the world on fire, that we're gonna achieve everything that we ever dream of. And this can be a little bit of a trap. I found this particularly in business, and I've talked about this in other videos. When I started my own business initially, I thought, of course, I'm gonna be a huge success. And it was a lot more difficult than I realized, I had a lot of financial setbacks and it took me a lot longer than I thought it would to actually achieve the goals that I'd set for myself. That initial unrealistic optimism led to a lot of frustration and disappointment for me that maybe if I'd been a little bit more realistic in the beginning, I wouldn't have had to deal with. And maybe there's something in your life where you're being unrealistically optimistic, especially in the starting stages of something where maybe you need to pare it back a little bit and realize that things aren't as rosy as you think and maybe things won't work out immediately as you hope they would. 
And the third type of positive illusion is the illusion of control. Now this one is something that we all as human beings, especially as independent adults, have in our lives. Think about when you're driving a car, you have the sense that you are actually in control, that you're deciding everything that's happening. But realistically, everything around you is actually deciding what's happening. Other cars that are driving around you, the traffic conditions, the road signs, the weather, all these things actually have a control over you, even though you are in the driver's seat and you feel like you're in control. Even the car that you're driving itself has a lot of control over you because it actually is an engine that's driving you. It's a physical piece of machinery that is pushing forward even though you feel like you're the one controlling it. All of us have this illusion of control in our lives. Some have it worse than others, but if we think that we're in control of everything, we tend to start to get stressed or upset when we lose that sense of control. One of the most important concepts in Buddhism is detachment and this idea of letting go of control. The illusion of control can be a bit of a trap, especially if we start to crave it in our lives. And so it's something to think about and be aware about that one of the positive illusions is this illusion of control, and it can start to set you up for frustration or being very upset if you get obsessed with trying to be in control in your life. So a question to answer here is, are positive illusions healthy? And the answer is mostly. From what I've read and all the psychology studies that I tried to delve into, it's very deep, intense kind of content, but I found that most of them will agree that people who tend to have mild positive illusions about themselves tend to have a higher level of objective well-being. They see their life in a more positive light, they feel more fulfilled, they're just generally happier as people. So the idea of having positive illusions isn't necessarily a bad thing as long as you keep them in check. And that's something that I've taken away from all this research reading that I've done is yes, it's great to have a positive mindset to be optimistic, but to realize when maybe you're leaning into the positive illusion area and you're starting to fool or self deceive yourself and you're not actually getting what you need out of the situation because you're kind of living in this made up fantasy version of the world. So how can we balance positive illusions? And I chose the word balance here very purposely because I think it's always gonna be part of our makeup as people that we create our own version of reality, but we have to balance positive illusions against reality. Well, the first thing that I have learned is to seek out objective feedback. So to go to people who you trust or are in a position to actually give you authoritative feedback Feedback, who can actually give you suggestions and tell you when you're doing things wrong. You don't have to listen to every single person in your life, but if there's something you want to achieve in your life or you're trying to improve, go to someone who has already achieved that or is already on the path to achieving it and get their objective feedback. They will help you to reduce or to kind of balance out the positive illusions that you might have about yourself, especially around self-assessment or around the optimism that you might feel. They'll give you a more realistic view of it. So seek out advice from those who have already walked the path, who can give you honest feedback. And the second way that I've learned to balance positive illusions is to look for blind spots. Now we all have blind spots in our lives, things we don't realize that we do. We might be more annoying than we think. We might tend to have weird habits that we're not aware of. If you can catch yourself in the act with these blind spots, you will find that it will give you a closer view of reality. One of the best things that I ever started doing was recording myself when I was doing a live speech. Now it is also one of the most painful things to watch back because you hear your voice as other people hear it. You see your mannerisms. You watch how you have all these unconscious quirks when you're on a stage that you don't realize are there. And it opens you up to see your blind spots. We all have these in different parts of our lives. And so I would suggest to you find ways to seek out or to be more aware of your own blind spots. Maybe it's someone criticizing you. Maybe it's a mistake you make. There's something in your life where there's a blind spot. Notice it, be aware of it and lean into it. Use those blind spots as a way to balance out your positive illusions and you'll find that you become more aware and conscious of the reality that is all around you and maybe it'll help you to better navigate your way through the world and to actually get what you want. So there you go. That's a quick overview of positive illusions. Hopefully that somewhat makes sense. It took me a while to understand the concept and to balance positive illusions versus positive thinking. Because I've spent so many years reading self-help and self-improvement books, I think my mind does lean towards the idea of positive thinking as a good thing. You might have a different view and I'm curious to hear your comments. So please share your view below in the comments and tell us, do you believe in positive thinking or do you think positive illusions are a dangerous thing? It's an interesting concept to be aware of and to balance out in your life. Thanks for watching this video. If you like what I'm doing here, please leave a like 
and consider subscribing to the channel if you like what we're doing here. We'd love to have you as part of our community. My name is Daniel Mitson Short. Thank you for watching. And as always, thank you for improving yourself.